hi I'm Radhika Krishna welcome back to my channel today's topic is world war 1 world war 1 was also known as the first world war or the great war it was described as the war to end all wars at that time it lasted from july 28 1914 to 11th november 1918 which was 4 years 3 months and 2 weeks The direct result of the war was 9 million combatant deaths and 13 million civilian deaths. The causes of World War 1 still remain controversial. A few of the important causes among these are political disputes, territorial disputes, economic competitions, militarism, the growth of nationalism, alliances and alignments made by different countries and the power vacuum created by the decline of the Ottoman Empire and so on. but another cause even more triggered the causes to have world war 1 which is the assassination of our french duke ferdinand heir to the throne of austria hungary on june 28 1914 he visited sarajevo where um, with his cars route published in advance where gavrilo princip along with six other men planned an attack on ferdinand he visited um, while he was going in uh, to the town hall in his open top car One of the assassins threw a grenade at his car, but it was misfired and blew another car with officers behind him instead. Ferdinand left his disabled car behind and continued to the town hall. But later he changed his program and then planned to visit the injured man in the hospital because of the bombing. And because uh, and uh, um, and while they were on their way to the Sarajevo hospital, um Two of their cars went into one street, but because of miscommunication, Ferdinand's car took a wrong turn. But uh, the driver noticed and then stopped the car. But the car stopped right at the place where Princip was standing. He immediately took out his pistol and shot so uh, and uh, shot Ferdinand and his wife Sofia. And because of this, Austria-Hungary gave Serbia the July Ultimatum. But Serbia's reply failed to satisfy the Austro-Hungarian. And so Austria-Hungary declares war on Serbia the following month. And because of this, Russia later had its full mobilization in support of Serbia. And in return to this, Germany and Austria-Hungary does uh, do the same. And Germany also demands Russia to withdraw its troops within 12 hours. But Russia does not comply. So Germany declares war on Russia. And because of this, Germany sends France has uh, all its troops to support Russia. Now Germany had to focus on France on the western side and uh, Ra- uh, Russia on the eastern side. And according to the German strategy, it would send bulk of its armies towards France and a minor of its armies towards Russia uh, to the, uh, towards the e- uh, western front. and defeat France at lightning speed move all the troops towards the eastern front and defeat Russia and gain victory over the war this was later known as the schlieffen plan for this plan to work they decided to go around um, around France through belgium when they asked belgium to give them the route to march all the troops um, from from there belgium refused and remained neutral so germany invaded belgium and because of this uh, because of this it ha- belgium had an alliance with uh, britain which was the landing peace treaty and so britain shows up further slowing the germans down they hoped that belgium would just shut up and sit alone but they uh, they don't and they fight too but belgium is quickly invaded and also they occupy the industrial areas of france and advance up to 70 kilometers further they are in sight of paris now and the french commander knew something had to be done and ordered their soldiers to stop retreating and to stay there and fight this is the beginning of the battle of marine Ma- uh, manre and this battle created a gap between the german lines if a gap opens up the enemy can use it to front you and can attack you from behind so the germans could not sustain this and then they retreated back they reached the isne river and then dug into defensive positions and dug up trenches and then started trench warfare to um, to uh, to counter this attack the allies did the same and dug up trenches all the way from the north sea till switzerland this is also called as the race to the sea 
This is the beginning of trench warfare. This uh, trench warfare continued up to three years. But living in the trenches was also hard work because there were rats, poisonous water, mud that could swallow you whole, bacteria and other kinds of infectious things. So many people died just because of living in the trenches. Now, meanwhile, on the eastern front, on the eastern front, um, uh, Austria-Hungary and Germany fought on one side and Russia and Romania fought on the other. Russia had devised a plan 19 according to which they would sent four of its troops towards, uh, towards East Prussia and to gain quick victory over it. But this plan was later changed and then they sent two of its troops towards Prussia and two of its troops towards Galicia. And in East Prussia, the Russians gave them, uh, the Russians fought very well and uh, gained with it, but not for long because the Germans gave them a strong counter and the Russians retreated back. But uh, in Galicia, they, the Russians gained with three and they pushed the Germans, uh, they pushed the Austro-Hungarians back. They pushed the Austro-Hungarians back and in Poland, the, and in Poland, Russia also gained victory there and it gave the Germans a strong counter forcing them to retreat back forcing them to retreat back and this caused severe casualties in the German army also the French uh, the, um, um, the Russian commander was removed and the Tsar Nicholas took over the responsibility of controlling the military forces himself and uh, um, and the entity and its allies became the allied powers and Germany, Austro-Hungary and its allies became the central powers. The allies new friends were Italy and Japan. Italy actually had an alliance with, um, alliance with Germany but because of tense relationships and also the allies promising them to give some of Austria-Hungary's territory, they shift places and support the allies. While Japan was busy building itself an empire, it was more than happy to take away German colonies that were near its uh, country and signed up for the allies. Meanwhile, um, the central powers had a new friend too, which was Bulgaria. Bulgaria wished it was bigger and still bitter about losing the Second Balkan War. But Germany promised that all of Bulgaria's wildest dreams would come true if it would help Germany um, and uh, to support the central powers. So they signed up and together they knocked out Serbia. The Serbian troops retreated to Albania. Albania also, which also had uh, some tense relationships with Germany. So Germany entered Albania in a very friendly invasion to chase down the Serbians by which most of them escaped by the sea. In the Middle East, there was the struggling Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans were actually divided in the decision whether to have a war or not. Whether to have a war or not because they were exhausted by the recent Balkan Wars. And, and they planned many attacks. By one of which, they, um, the, Ottomans the Ottoman Empire wanted their troops to cross the Caucasus uh, Mountains and then attack the Russians. But that failed because none of them were prepared for the cold and many of them froze to death. Then they crossed miles of desert to um, uh, fight the British. But that failed as well because, um, because um, uh, of the heat and uh, that failed too. Then they planned an attack to attack the Gallipoli campaign but that failed as well. Meanwhile all this was happening. The Germans sent spies into Afghanistan to convince them to a fight against the British and attack British India. But that failed because normally the spies got bored and got drunk which is a bad thing to do in Afghanistan. And so that plan failed. Before World War I, there were rules of modern warfare like no using chemical weapons and no trying to kill civilians. And basically, just don't be jerks. The Germans held a meeting and decided, let's be jerks. And then, that was it. Zip, uh, they used aircraft to throw, uh, to throw bombs at British cities, which destroyed most of the, most of the cities, and many of the cities, actually.
actually. And also, they started they started using chemical warfare in the trend uh, in the trench war where the trench warfare was happening. But not to be completely unfair to the Germans. The Allies also engaged in chemical warfare soon after. Western Front, the most bloodiest battles of the war happened, which is the Battle of Verdun, also called the Battle of the Somme. When the Germans were attacking the French city called Verdun, the French army defended it desperately. And under pressure, it called for its Allies for help. And then the British answered and then started its own battle which was called the Battle of the Soap by which only in the first day there were 60,000 casualties in the British Army and uh, meanwhile all this was happening the US didn't do anything and remained neutral but it was selling supplies to the Allies throughout the war like arms and ammunition so the Germans knowing this they sunk the US ship so that the goods could not reach the Allies and um, but but later they also started sinking civilian ships one such civilian ship was the lusitania but and before world uh, and um, uh, one such civilian ship was the lusitania and also they the, the germans fig, uh, guessed that the um, uh, us would soon enter world war 1 so they sent a telegram to mexico saying that if mexico would support them and um, fight against the US. After the war, it would get the US territories, which are New Mexico, Texas, and uh, Oregon. And Oregon. So, um, but the British intercepted this telegram and then decoded it because it was sent in court and then sent it to the Americans. The Americans took this very seriously and declared war on Germany and entered the World War. And um, and uh, the war was a very long and grilling war. So many of them quitted. Uh, like um, Bulgaria collapsed first, and then followed by the Ottoman Empire, then Austria-Hungary. But Germany still stayed in the war. And uh, in the Western Front, it made big offensives because it had more army. It moved all the armies. Uh, that were left in the Eastern Front to the Western Front because Russia uh, Russia withdrew from the war because the February Revolution happened in Russia uh, by which there were slogans like we don't want war, we want bread and we don't want autocracy and uh, while this happened a new government was formed and um, they overthrew the Tsar and the new government didn't want to continue the war so they sent a delegation to um, Germany saying that they wanted to sign a peace treaty and withdraw from World War One. And so um, Russia was out of the war, and th this is why the Germans, the Ger um, Germany moved all its troops remaining, which were remaining in the Eastern Front to the Western Front, and made big offensives. But the, uh, the Allies also gave many big counters, and the Germans retreated back. And they knew that they cannot continue the war. Um, they cannot continue the war. So they um, sent a delegation. Um, they sent a delegation to um, a place called Campaign in France that they want to sign a peace treaty and make discussions with the Allies. And um, so this was the last day of World War One. It was the end of such a long, grilling war. And at the peace treaty, Germany had to face severe punishments and uh, like it could only use 1 lakh men in their army and no air forces, no submarines. And also the coal mines in Germany were to be given to France for 15 years to be taken care of. And, uh, they, uh, and uh, they had to pay a large sum of money and other severe punishments. Seeing how many people this long grilling war had killed, the world never had such an awful war again for about 20 years. That's it for today. Until next time, I'm Mirajya. I'll see you in the next video.